Let's start from the driver side. We've got here the fuse box, 12 volt battery. We've got the air filter housing. The air filter will go deep in there. And this engine doesn't have a mass airflow sensor, which is usually located somewhere here. Here we've got the computer of the car, brake fluid reservoir, brake fluid level sensor. Back there we've got the brake booster. And this is the brake booster line, which connects down here to the intake manifold to collect the vacuum. Down here we've got the coolant temperature sensor and the thermostat housing. Here we have the boost pressure control valve. Here we've got the turbocharger actuator, which has this rod connecting to the turbocharger under this cover. The upstream oxygen sensor. And down there, right where the tip of this stick is, downstream oxygen sensor. Here we have the turbocharger regulator valve. We've got three coil packs for three cylinders. They are going to be 14 millimeter spark plugs, oil dipstick, oil cap. Here we have one of the evap lines which connects next to the turbocharger. And as you can see here, there are going to be two evap lines, a second line, and it will connect next to the throttle body right after the throttle body. The main line obviously will connect to the solenoid which is down here. Here we have a PCV valve which connects to the valve cover gasket. Here we have a manifold absolute pressure sensor and on this car you're going to find two of them. The second one is going to be here. Down here we've got the fuel rail so it's a little bit crowded here but you can see as well the injectors. Here we have the main fuel line supply. It comes from that point and this is the return line and if you follow along you're going to see that it connects right below the fuel pressure regulator which is right here. And the fuel pressure regulator will get vacuumed through this line, which connects to the intake manifold. We've got the throttle body here, obviously. Right under the throttle body, we've got the starter motor. We've got here the alternator. Down there, you're going to find the AC compressor. That in the middle is just an idle pulley. And then we've got the water pump pulley here. Another idle pulley and the crankshaft. And right there in the middle is the tensioner pulley. I've done once some bidirectional test on the ABS pump, so I could hear it from somewhere here. However, I cannot see it right now. Here we have a coolant hose which goes all the way around the engine. Is this one right here and connects next to this thermostat assembly. Down there you can see where the gear shift selector is connecting to the manual transmission. We've got here the camshaft position sensor. Now finally, we've got this air duct here. It's basically a shortcut of the air from this first intake pipe right before the air filter. And it goes next to the throttle body here. And it looks like we've got a check valve here, which is vacuum actuated. So yeah, that's pretty much it about all the components on this engine. Take care, drive safe, and I will see you in the next video.